Hi, in this video, we will demonstrate how to password protect files using Power Automate. I have already installed Power Automate for desktop in my machine and created one flow here. Uh, this flow basically will, will go to all the files in some particular directory. Uh, in this case, I have configured this directory and it will go all the PDF files in this directory and process them so that it will be password protected and will save the output to this folder and if I execute it, it will ask me for the input variables here, uh, here and this is the password we intend to use and this is the PDF for API key. We, uh, this API we are using uh, to password protect the files and if we hit OK then it will start running and just in time we will see the password protected files here. Here uh, it already created the one file and second and shortly it will create the third one. Here it is. And yeah, it has completed the execution and if we open any file, it is asking us for the password. Let me add the password hello123456 and it is opening the file. Let us see how I have configured this flow. So if I How we we can add all the actions here. Uh, in the left side, we have all the inbuilt actions available, like the variables, loops, then HTTP, etc. So there are there are many actions here. And in the right side, we have panel for variables and we have created two variables here one for holding the password for the pdf and another one for the api key and this is the password it is using uh, to password protect so this password basically will be added to pdf and if you want to create the new variable just click on this plus icon and hit, hit the input and we can configure the new input here First thing first, we will need to get all the PDF files from our input folder. Uh, to do this, we, we, are, we are adding uh, action get files from the folder. This can be done for the here also in the folder get files from the folder. So basically it will get all the files from the folder and let us see how it is configured. So it is simply configured to this input PDF folder and we are filtering out PDF files so that it will only get the PDF files and we are storing the output to the file variable. And once that's done, we are adding the loop here, we are adding the for each loop and we have configured loop to iterate all the files and store the current iteration to the current item. So basically current item will contain the current file and inside the loop we have added the few more actions. The first one is the invoke web service. Uh, the first step will be to get the, our file to the cloud. In doing so we are calling this PDF for API get design URL and this is the get method and we are passing the API key, PDF code API key in the in the custom header named the X API key and in the response it is producing us the two two output. So basically we only need the one variable present output. All the response of this will be stored into the present output and and this response is converted to the custom object here 
the variable name will be pre-signed JSON as custom object. Uh, basically, uh, this this variable will contain the JSON in the string format, but we can't access all the all the parameters from the string. Hence, we need to convert it to the custom object here, and that's what we are doing here. And if we want to test it out, we can have the display message, and we can we can it go to the, this object and select any any parameter and it will simply display us in the next step uh, this design URL will respond us with the with the JSON let me show you that uh, we have the better idea here uh, here I have all the postline collection of the PDF for the endpoints and if you see the pre-signed URL basically it, it is the play it will create the placeholder and and it, it will has the pre-signed URL here and we need to use this pre-signed URL to actually upload our file there and this URL is the public URL uh, this this is the temporary URL and will be deleted in the few few minutes and this will basically point us to the original file and hence we need to upload our or upload our file to this prison url but the thing is that we can't get the byte array with this power automate so we need to we need to execute the powershell script here and this script is basically invoking the put request with the with the PDF for API key in the header and and we are we are getting we are getting the current file and we are we are uploading that as a file so basically it will get the byte array and upload it and also we have specified the pre-signed URL here so the pre-signed URL will be uploaded with this file and and after this execution is completed this this precise this url will contain the our, our our local file now that we have our file in the pdfo cloud we can easily invoke uh, secure adding the security endpoint here let me show you that uh, it has configured to this to this endpoint PDF security add it's the post matter accept and content type is application JSON we are adding the custom header uh, and setting it with the XAPI key and the PDF API key and this is a request body now uh, mainly we are passing the URL with our uh, our PDF Co cloud uploaded URL and we are setting the owner and user password with the password variable just we specified here and these are the additional settings if we want we can change it like the encryption algorithm and whether we want to allow printing the document and what will the print quality etc and we are naming the our output as a current file name without extension and then appending the protected uh, as a suffix and then PDF and also we are so storing the response to the password protected underscore response variable if you want if you want to get into more details of this API uh, you can refer to the PDF Pro documentations and go to all the parameters and the, all the response types here so basically <coughs> it will it will return us with the URL which is the password protected version of our input file and additional properties and and likely uh, we want to access the URL so we are converting JSON variable to the JSON object and we are storing the output to this variable protect password protect underscore response underscore object and lastly we want to download this file from the URL and store to the output 
so we are using this action download from web and we have configured it to use the output URL from the password protected response. This is the get method we are saving to disk and we have specified the destination folder and yeah that's it. So this is how easy we can we can consume any any REST based API with the with the power automate. This is only the one of the feature uh, we have displayed here but the PDF Pro actually has the many more features like it has a excellent document parsing capability. It can classify the document. This is the AI based tool which classifies a type of a document and we can also the translate the PDF. We can we can fill the PDF and many more. Uh, the tons of functionality we have with the PDF API. Uh, you you can try this with your in your machine. And thank you for watching this video.